this is your Hollywood maintenance here. I'm going to show you something on this particular GE washer here. That's what it looks like. Um, we're turning it on. We press start. It turns on. Nothing's happening. I'm batting a thousand so far. Uh, usually it's the door lock here, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. This is the door switch, that's the door lock. All right. Take off, we're gonna take off the ring. There's a ring. This is a very simple fix. This is the only part that's kind of irritating, <laughs> but it's not that bad. We're gonna show you how to put it back on an easy way. Taking it off is easier. You remove the gasket a little bit, hold it. Couple of screws. Then you can take it off, it plugs in. Pretty simple. Right there. Unplug and plug in the new one. This is the model number for the top of the box for this washer. Oh, your new one. Now we're just gonna put it back. show you how to put this ring on an easier way especially if you're by yourself I like using these clamps which are, we're going to demonstrate for you got to make sure this gasket is in the hole here so it has this lip the lip goes over this sure it's sealed correctly so you don't get water everywhere when you turn it on. I like putting the the spring of the retaining ring on the bottom because it's easier to pull down. So you put the retaining ring back on. And this is what we use the clamps for. It's like an extra set of hands. To help hold it.
after pulling these off, you want to make sure it's sealed and pull on the gasket a little bit. This way you know it's nice it's snug on there. I always pull the edges, make sure it can't get off. Now we'll shut the door, start over. Now I heard it lock. There we go. That's how you do these washers here, these GE ones that look like this. I will put the model number in the description below so you know what type of model this is. Thanks for watching. As you can see, here comes the water. Everything's working normal. Like and subscribe.